The pendulum swing does not change direction. It is we on the surface of the Earth rotating around underneath the pendulum. But if the building is attached to the Earth and this cable is attached to the building, why doesn't the cable twist along with the rotation of the Earth and alter the path of the swing? This is by far the most popular and natural question regarding our focal, sorry, Foucault pendulum. I'm your mental curator, Johnny Hamburger, or as some lovingly like to mention in the comments, Timu Vsauce, as if my last name Hamburger wasn't enough fodder. But hey, engagement, right? Sorry, let's get back to the point. The cable is actually suspended at the top through a low friction ball bearing collar, much like a skateboard wheel where the axle going through it does not move but the wheel is free to spin around it. So the earth, the building, and the mount itself rotates around the cable in the middle of that ball bearing collar. The cable is like the axle of that skateboard wheel, if you will, or trucks, if you're gnar. When the pendulum starts swinging, it only wants to stay moving in that straight line path. It wants to preserve its inertia and will until something outside forces it otherwise. You know, the laws of physics and all that jazz. So, the low friction ball bearing collar eliminates, as much as possible, any twist in the cable, and the sheer weight of the swinging pendulum bob itself ensures resistance to any already minimized torsion or twisting forces. The result is a very heavy pendulum allowed to maintain its natural straight line path while the earth is free to rotate underneath it without twisting the cable, thus proving that the sphere we call home is rotating using an experiment developed way before space travel. Funny enough, you'd think our flat earth friends would be the most vocal when I mention a spherical earth, but you'd be mistaken and you can already see where this is going. It's our friends with the oblate spheroid quick draw like it's high noon at the OK Corral. And they are absolutely right. The Earth does bulge about 0.3% wider at the equator. Kind of just like me after lunch. Probably more than 0.3%. Anyways, at the equator, it's actually about 42 kilometers of bulge, to be exact. Completely unnoticeable to the naked eye, even from space. But when measured with precision, yep, there is a very slight bulge. This has been a long time headache for navigation and mapping. Oh, it's under repair. There aren't many uh, off-the-shelf parts, and there's no YouTube how-tos on how to repair bespoke Foucault pendulums. But rest assured, Houston will have our beloved Foucault pendulum swinging again soon. To us, this isn't an unsightly, broken vending machine. This is a sick puppy. We love it. It's part of our childhood. It's part of our lives. It is getting the best care possible. And at this point, it's a saga we are emotionally invested in. Y'all absolutely rock. Take care, stay curious, check out the HMNS Beyond Bones podcast, and we can't wait to see you at the Houston Museum of Natural Science.